Hello family, we thank God for another day he's made for us to be glad and to rejoice in. Today, as we continue to lift up the DR Congo before the Lord, my prayer is that all people who have registered to vote and are intending to do so will have access and will not have any disruptions um, from causing them to be able to cast their votes on the 20th, which is incidentally tomorrow. My passage of scripture before I pray is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 18. To cast lots puts an end to quarrels and decides between powerful contenders. Father God, we have prayed, Lord, concerning the elections, general elections taking place in the DR Congo recently. But Father God, today I chose to pray concerning all those who have an intention to cast their votes tomorrow because of God of an article I came across on the Al Jazeera website where the head of the um, Independent Electoral Commission had been interviewed and he had spoken of some of the challenges they have had even in being able to deploy the necessary instruments or equipment to certain parts of the country because some roads are inaccessible and so on. And so, Father God, having read that interview, I recognize that, Lord, there are challenges that may somehow or could even impact people's ability to vote tomorrow. Knowing that, Lord, many of the people in the nation, and rightly so, have been crying and desiring for a free and fair election. It is therefore necessary, God, that in order for there to be a free and fair election, anyone who has to cast their votes or has an intention to cast their votes should be able to do so tomorrow. So I pray that, Lord, you know all the challenges some people may have, even in being able to cast their votes tomorrow. And also, God, if there be any man-made impediments that may be planned tomorrow to keep people from being able to go to the polling stations to cast their votes, I am asking in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus that you will frustrate any such plan and that God Almighty, whatever challenges there may be, whether it's because of the economic situation, whether it's because of infrastructure, Lord God, just help people to come up with strategies, with wisdom or oh God in knowing how they can ensure that they would be able to get to their polling stations in a timely manner in order for them to be able to cast their votes. I pray that Lord God Almighty, at the end of the voting process, let it not be that there'll be many people, Father God, crying out that they were not given opportunity to cast their votes. Let it not be that people will feel as though, Father God, they were deliberately stumbling blocks were put in their way to keep them from being able to vote. So that God, tomorrow's outcome will be that everyone who had an intention to vote would have been able to do so and that God Almighty, not only in through the ability for people to vote, but even when it comes to the counting process, that there'll be fairness, Lord God Almighty, integrity will be demonstrated, Father God. I pray that, Lord God, whatever else needs to be put in place, Father, for people to be able to get to their polling stations and to see that every material that is required has made its way. I pray that God, you will please intervene. And if there be any hindrances or oh God that they are facing as I speak right now, help them to be able to come up with a solution and to do that in such a timely manner, Father God, that there'll be no disruptions so whatsoever and that there'll be no foul play either, even concerning the elections in the DR Congo tomorrow. We're trusting you, O oh God, for a peaceful election in that country. We're trusting you, O oh God, that many people will feel that, Lord, they were dealt with fairly and given equal opportunity and equal access to the polling stations. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse. 
In Psalm 118 verse 17, I will not die but live and declare the works and recount the illustrious acts of the Lord. The Lord bless you and I encourage you if you can tomorrow in your own personal time of prayer, just lift up the DR Congo before the Lord. Um, whatever the Lord lays on your heart, I would encourage you to remember them in your prayers. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.